quiet on the set. Julio Ojeda Zapata is a consumer technology writer for the Pioneer Press and is also the author of an online blog called Your Tech Web Blog. So welcome uh, to All Things Access and thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, first, let's talk about technology. I mean, I'm a filmmaker and for mm -hmm. me, technology is more so a beast that you have mm -hmm. to learn. But for you, obviously, writing about it seems like to be a love. Uh, how did you get interested in writing uh, technology, about technology? Well, I've always been fascinated by technology my whole life, computers, uh, the whole deal. And when the internet uh, revolution started to happen in the late 90s, my paper got wise to that, created a tech section. I was one of the first three tech writers to write for that. And I've kind of been doing it ever since. Mm -hmm. yeah. And had you ever been yourself in a technical field, I mean, a, techno a field of technology? No, I approach it from the consumer point of view. I, I put myself in, in the place of a consumer and sort of analyze it that way and sort of uh, separate the good from the bad. That's what I do. Okay. Well, what's your criterion for how you uh, decide what technology that you're going to review? Well, I, I sort of keep my eye on, on the news and sort of uh, anticipate what are some of the uh, hot tech products that are coming down the pike. Sort of plan ahead a little bit and every week I write a tech test drive column uh, in which I review a hot uh, tech product. Uh, next uh, uh, week, uh, as, as you're filming this, I'm going to be doing something on the Nintendo Wii, the, the very hot video game console, because they have a new attachment for it called the Wii Zapper. You, you click the, the, the Wii Mote onto a gun-like device so that you can play shooter games, oh, okay. which kind of horrified my wife. <laughs> and the week after that, I'm looking at the Amazon Kindle, which is the new e-book reader. So those are a, a couple of examples. Yeah, I'm completely unaware of <laughs> what a Wii book is it called? The, the Nintendo Wii is the, the video game console, which is, which is very hot with uh, kids right now. And the, the Amazon Kindle is a, a device for reading books electronically. So you can stick a bunch of books on the device and take it on the plane with you and read a book instead of you know, flipping through the pages of a physical book. Oh. So the Amazon Kindle is one of those. It's new and it's, it's kind of hot right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how, mu how much would you say that people buy technology out of um, a luxury opposed to a need or vice versa? It's, uh, it's kind of a moving target. I've seen some studies that, uh, that shed some interesting light on this. Um, mm -hmm. Things that people 10 or 20 years ago might have considered luxury, optional items uh, today are considered, you know, got to have items like broadband, internet access, a portable phone that, that you can get your email on. You know, that was, you know, thinkable, you know, 10 or 20 years now, but right now people can't live without it. I, I can't imagine not having high-speed internet access. I have a, a device here that I, I'm checking my email on every 10 minutes. If I don't check my email every 15 minutes, I start getting all twitchy. <laughs> so that's just kind of the way I am. I, I'm just, I'm just uh, jacked into, into the grid, as it were. <laughs> well, the holiday season is mm -hmm. here. Um, do you have any particular uh, devices or that you think uh, consumers would like or maybe to give as a gift or that you think would be a good gift? Well, the, the things that are really popular right now are video game devices, the Nintendo Wii primarily. The Nintendo Wii is very hard to find, though, so I, I, I tell people uh, maybe put the Wii plan, buying plans on the back burner for now mm -hmm. and consider the Nintendo DS, which is a little portable little laptop device which has dual screens for playing uh, mobile games. It's very ingenious. There's a lot of games for it. Uh, it's, it's available right now. It's great for all ages. There are games, there are New York Times crossword puzzles for adults. There are Mario games for kids. There's a lot, there's a lot, of, uh, there's a lot of fun built into that device. Uh, all things Apple computer are very popular right now. Uh, there are more uh, versions of the iPod now than there have ever been before. There's an iPod for just about anyone, ranging from little iPods that you can take jogging to mm -hmm. big iPods for, for watching uh, uh, video, movies, and so forth. Okay. Really huge, yeah. Well, uh, speaking of iPod mm -hmm. <laughs> or Mac uh, products, uh, I was on your blog uh, earlier, and there was a bit of a uh, Mac, you know, versus PC debate. What is your own personal uh, preference, or why? Or I know that <laughs> from reading the blog that you prefer Mac. Uh, I, I do like Macs a, a little more than I do Windows, but as a, as a technology writer, uh, I make a, a very concerted effort to keep one foot on each side of the fence. Mm -hmm. 
So at, at work, you know, on my main computer, I'm always using Windows. Uh, Macintosh computers can run Windows now. Mm -hmm. If you buy a, a Mac with an Intel processor right now, you, on part of the hard drive, you can have the Mac OS operating system. On another part of the hard drive, you can have the Windows operating system. Mm -hmm. And every Mac I use has both operating systems on it, and I use both all the time. I do prefer Windows. I think uh, I do prefer the Mac. I do think the Mac is, is better than Windows, but uh, most people use Windows, and I, I keep my eye on that. I use it. Uh, and I don't have a problem with it. I write all my stories on a Windows computer. Mm -hmm. Every single story I write is on, is on a Windows computer, and mm -hmm. that's fine. Yeah, as an yeah. artist, I, I have to say I prefer, <laughs> I prefer Macintosh as well. Um, uh, to, um, I'm about to buy a Macintosh computer. Mm -hmm. The very first thing I'm going to do is stick Windows on there so my kid can play some games. <laughs> well, what about the, you, you spoke about some of the video games uh, for, uh, in terms of uh, that might be a good buy for holiday season. What about you know, for the older crowd? Um, older gamers uh, should take a look at the Xbox 360 from mm -hmm. Microsoft because there's just a, a slew of super hot games for the Xbox 360, including Halo uh, 3, uh, Bioshock. There's uh, ad adult uh, super gamers mm -hmm. uh, will find the best stuff on the Xbox mm -hmm. uh, 360, definitely. What about any kind of uh, organizer or any, you know, because, uh, for example, someone um, who's looking to buy uh, an all-in-one, you know, product, are there any suggestions you have for that? Um, well, I'm really extremely fond of Apple's iPhone mm -hmm. uh, because the iPhone, uh, it's a phone, obviously, uh, given the name, but it's, it's an all-in-one device mm -hmm. where you can put videos on there, you can put your, your address book, all your contacts on there. Um, it, it, it's a do-it-all uh, device in your pocket, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I've, I'm really fascinated with it. But if, if you don't need a, another phone, you can get the iPod Touch, which is basically an iPhone without the phone. Mm -hmm. And is it true that iPhone does not have um, text messaging? Oh. Uh, yes, it does have text messaging. You oh, can okay. text message on it. Okay. And the thing I really like about it, it has a web browser that is superior to uh, the web browser on any other mobile device. So I'm constantly checking my email on it, uh, checking all my favorite websites on it, you know, constantly. Um, uh, I have the internet in my pocket the way I, I never did before, so I'm really excited about that. Great. Mm -hmm. And you brought some stuff uh, here. Yeah, I, I know a lot of your watches are interested in video. So video is another mm -hmm. hot uh, category for the holidays. It's really exciting because uh, video devices right now do a lot. Um, this is an example of the, uh, this is a Canon uh, camcorder that uses, you know, standard familiar uh, mini DV cassettes, these little little cassettes that, mm -hmm. are, that, are, that are also used by professionals. Mm -hmm. It's very compact, but it shoots high definition video. High definition video is, is finally reaching the consumer. This is one example. I, I played with a uh, Kodak pocket camera, a camera that you can just stick in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, it shoots uh, 12 megapixel pictures, which is really mm -hmm. big, high resolution pictures. Mm -hmm. And it shoots high definition video. Mm -hmm. With this camera, you shoot video that uh, looks absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic on your HD TV. Mm -hmm. You can buy a little dock, stick the, uh, the, uh, the Kodak camera in there, and watch the video you, sh you shot of your kid on your, on your big screen TV. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. And about how much does this camera run for? Um, about nine hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. About about okay. $900. Not bad. Not you can bad. get these. Uh, the the what, what I recommend with people is um, the manufacturer will give you a list price, a standard okay. price. But you should go to Amazon.com and they almost always will knock about two hundred dollars off it. So I, I think this little baby is going for about eight hundred or nine hundred right now. Great. Nice. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much, Julio, for coming sure. in and speaking with us about this. And I'm sure some people this will be very helpful mm -hmm. for this season. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us.